hey guys welcome to the channel where you learn quick and easy recipes today we are making yummy samosas and this is gonna be the longest video on my channel but i promise you it's gonna be worth your time samosas are five major steps which are making samosa pockets samosa glue samosa stuffings the stuffing itself and the frying so guys please watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to join the family The dough is ready, so you're gonna start with making the samosa pockets, watch to learn the process. So guys, I just decided to explain the process so that it's much easier to understand and I hope it will make sense. From the dough, cut out 4 equal parts and from the 4 equal parts, cut out other small equal parts which will be molded into small balls. From the small balls, roll out small circular doors just like this. Now I'm gonna link four small circular doors together and roll them out into a one bigger circular dough. In between the small circular doors, I'll be applying oil and then sprinkling flour so that it's easy to separate them later. Put the combined big circular dough on a hot pan and let it cook on both sides, then separate the pieces. This is what we have guys, as you can see the pieces are super slim and this is what will make the perfect summer set pockets. So I'll just align all of them together and cut them into 4 quarter pieces that make samosa pockets. The second step is making the samosa stuffing and guys, this is the yummiest beef stuffing recipe ever. Don't forget to try it out because you will love it guys, I promise.
The third and the easiest step is to make the glue that will be used to make the samosas. All you need is water and flour. The fourth step is stuffing the samosas and guys, this is the fun part because it's like art so keep watching to see how I do it. The last step is frying the samosas and guys, all you need to achieve is a perfect goldenish color. So guys, that was it for today's video. I hope it was educative. To learn more of such quick and easy recipes, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you may not miss out on the next quick and easy recipes that I'll be posting. 